Arsenal Fan TV. Mo, what do you make of it tonight? Yeah, it was uh, it was average. You know, it, as an Arsenal fan, we used to dining at the top table. So it, personally, I, I I feel like the atmosphere in the stadium wasn't really up for this game. You know, because this is a it's the smallest of the major trophies. Let's face it. And uh, you know, I was a bit underwhelmed tonight. I really look forward to seeing the youngsters play. So, yeah, we get a bit excited. You know, what I mean, we've just won two 0 Yeah, but you know, if we'd have come out and lost two 0 everybody be like, oh, we'll yeah, kill the kill Arsenal. <laughs> you know, no, oh yeah, underwhelmed. It's you hard. Know? It's hard to get excited when you meet expectations. But that's the size of the club. It's just proportionate to the size of the club and who we are. Two 0 against Reading. We're not going to be excited. That is exactly what we expect. You know, it'd be silly if I came out here really excited about it. But you know. In due course, I will <laughs> praise a few and stuff. But first, I'm going to start with a bit of a crit criticism because to me, it seems like at the Arsenal, in our academy, and when we bring players through, through the first team, we seem to cultivate really good technical players, but I don't think we seem to cultivate clinical players. And that's what really frustrated me today. I just don't see, you know, Jeff coming in and uh, Maitland Niles coming in and being absolutely clinical. And I was, I was kind of trying to cast my mind back and think, you know, who have we brought through? the academy that has really hit the hit the team and being a clinical type of player. Iwobi. I wouldn't say he's clinical, Robbie. You no, know, he's it, come he, in, he's been very he, no, clinical he's to me. He's been <clears throat> his passing's been brilliant. He's no, he's I mean, he's I, been I, playing I, against top top players and has not looked out I'm, of place. I'm not doubting his talent. Not just technical, he's yeah, been he's strong. Brilliant. No, Iwobi's brilliant, but mm. I, I'm I'm talking about real clinical players, ones that you can you know I'm talking about clinical in what way? I don't like, know. Like Alexis, you know, more often than not he will make the difference. Like do you remember Eduardo, someone like him. He gets yeah, the but we bought these players, right? I, exactly, that's my point. We we don't cultivate clinical players, we have to buy them in. Someone like Eduardo, you'd celebrate before he takes a shot. You just knew he was gonna, you know, put that ball in the back of the net. And I'm struggling to think, have we really cultivated any clinical players? The striker you're talking about now. Well, yeah, and, and uh, you know, for me, it will be when he gets a chance, I'm not expecting it to be a goal, you know. So it's just a, it's just a thought. So I, I thought I'd put it out there. Maybe someone can prove me wrong. Who is the most clinical player that we've brought through our academy? I remember when Arturo Lopoli was at the club, Arsene Wenger himself said that he's the most clinical player at the club. And that's when uh, Thierry Henry was there. And kind of what happened to him? So it was just a question that was going around in my mind. And I, I do feel as though these youngsters need to develop that side of their game a little bit more because they were out here today at 1 0 up. And it just seemed to me like they were having a bit too much fun. They were a bit too relaxed and stuff. And I kind of want them to put the game to bed, be clinical, it not, not so hard, much with the ball, was, but mentally as well. You know, as have I was that saying to killer's guy, attitude. You, you imagine you, your one chance you get some of these, you, you're playing for Arsenal, and then you get chosen for this game, and you know. 60,000 people, so much pressure on you. You've got one shot, right? They won't be playing on Saturday. Yeah. Your one shot. It must be really, really hard to then come out there and just all of a sudden put in an Alexis Sanchez performance. I'm, I'm yeah. not saying that, but I'm just saying their manner, they were very relaxed, they were enjoying themselves. That's, that's a good thing though, isn't it? Is, it is a good thing to a degree, but you look at Thierry Henry and Dennis Bergkamp, they had all the skill in the world, but you rarely saw them just relaxing and enjoying themselves in a game until it was won. Then they'd pull out the tricks. You know, they, were not, they weren't showboaters. And today we've got kids that are kind of enjoying themselves a little bit too much. For me, it's a case of get the game won. It's 1-0. We went into the latter part of that game, one decent set piece away for an embarrassing draw you know and, and it's not a criticism of, of the youngsters because they've got a lot to learn and they're very very good players got high hopes for them but we Gosh. need a more clinical attitude at this mm. club and that makes a difference at the top level because at the top level every player is great technically but there's very very few that stand out from their peers in terms of being absolutely clinical so that's just my point on that but look you know I am I was very happy with the performance today even though we were very wasteful with the ball. Overall, we dominated the game. We had chance after chance. It really, really should have been more. Ox did brilliantly, and I've heard a lot of people saying that he should get a starting run on the team. I disagree with that. There's no reason to take Iwobi out of the team. There's no reason to disrupt a team that's unbeaten in, what, 12 games now? So I think if uh, for Chamberlain to come in the team, when he gets his opportunity, he's got to prove it in the first team. And uh, you, you can't say off the back of a you know, a couple of goals against Reading, one from a mistake, one from a deflection as well, you know, that he should walk into the team. He did very well today, but it's not enough. It's clinical, though. Yeah, he, so he's done what you said to him. 100%. Know, can't say just off of a mistake. Yeah, and he seized upon it. And luckily, he was the only one that actually took the chances because, mm. you know, otherwise you're struggling. There should have been more people in the team that were making the chances count because we did have chances. Reading made a lot of mistakes. And in a strange way, don't take this as praise, Reading fans, but they remind you of Man City. And it's great that they try and play football, but mm. what were they doing playing out at the back? I thought our pressing was good today and we did force them into mistakes. And 
this new style that people are really forcing, teams are really forcing, Arsenal are a great football playing team, but you see Arsenal being pragmatic at times where if you need to kick the ball out, kick the ball out. It's all about playing your football in the important areas, not letting yourself make silly mistakes like John Stones did the other day. And I, I find it bizarre. It frustrates me a lot. Man City is one thing. They've got the best manager in the world and they've got a philosophy they're trying to adapt. But um, adopt, sorry. But then Reading, what on earth are you doing coming to Arsenal and playing football like that? I feel like it was a bit of a suicide on their part. But anyway, let's finish it on a good note. Tottenham, they got knocked out of the one trophy... Tottenham got knocked out today of the one trophy they've, they've won in the last quarter of a century. Wow. Moment of silence for Tottenham fans. It must be tough. Unbeaten in the league and you're sixth. The one trophy you've won in the last 25 years, you're knocked out. Boy, glad I'm an Arsenal fan. Yeah, well, I, I rate Jenkins in any way. Mm. No, uh, it's just hard that uh, Bellerin's in front of him like the boost is behind him. But um, if Bellerin's not going to be fit, then... Mm. Jenkinson will be straight in. Mm. 